Okay, we're going to find some partial derivatives and then evaluate them at some given points, right? So at 0, 0, and 1, 1. But before we actually evaluate them, we have to find these partial derivatives. So when we're doing partial derivatives, we use that subscript. So this will be the partial derivative with respect to x. So what that means is we're going to treat x as though it's our only variable, and we're going to treat all the y's or any other variables in the function as though they're just constants. All right, so if I ask you, hey, what's the derivative of x squared? It's usually pretty obvious that's going to be 2x, but that's only because we're treating x as though it's our variable. When you get started on these, it feels a little bit strange that we're treating y as though it's a constant. But you got to get over that. We've got to push past it. For our next term there, we're going to bring along our constants, the 4 and the y, and I know it feels weird, and just think to ourselves, what's the derivative of x? Well, derivative of x is just going to be 1, so you could say negative 4y multiplied by 1. All right, finally, that last term, that's all constants, right? We're treating those as all constants, so we're going to say the derivative there is actually going to be 0. I'm not going to put a plus 0 at the end, however. All right, next, let's give it a shot with the partial derivative of this function with respect to y. All right, so one term at a time. And remember, these are our only variables, the y's. The derivative of that x squared is just going to be 0 because we're treating that as a constant this time around, right? Because we're looking at the partial with respect to y. So the derivative there is going to be 0. I'm not going to write that. Next term, I'm going to bring along our constants. The derivative of y would just be 1. So we're just left with the constant. And finally, we have that derivative of that last term. Well, we're going to use the power rule on this. Bring our exponent down and multiply it by the 4. So that's going to make 8. Reduce the exponent by 1, and we get y to the first power. All right, the rest of this really isn't too enlightening. All we're going to do is evaluate these at 0. So replace x with 0. Replace y with 0, which works out just to be 0 and evaluate this at 1, 1. So replace your x with 1. Replace your y with 1. So we have 2 minus 4 makes negative 2. And we'll do the same thing over here. The partial with respect to y of 0, 0. You replace each of the x and the y with 0 here. So that works out to be 0. And the partial with respect to y of 1, 1. In this case, it's going to be negative 4 times 1 plus 8 times 1. So negative 4 plus 8 works out to be positive 4. All right, so I hope this helps out as you're working on partial derivatives. Just remember, if it's the partial with respect to x, you treat the x's as though that's your only variable. Everything else is constants. Partial with respect to y, y is your only variable. Everything else has to be constants.